Another major retailer announces it's leaving downtown San Francisco. Plus, the big win Stanford is celebrating. That and more news up next on Sinkton. Hey everyone, say goodbye to Westfield Mall in downtown San Francisco. The company is the latest to announce its departure from the area. In a statement, writing the reasons are, quote, the challenging operating conditions in downtown San Francisco, which have led to declines in sales, occupancy, and foot traffic. Mayor London Breed put out a statement in response saying, quote, with new management, we will have an opportunity to pursue a new vision for this space, adding, quote, whether that's attracting new types of business or educational institutions or creating a totally different experience, we need to be open to what's possible. Other retailers reportedly leaving downtown SF include Nordstrom, Whole Foods, and Safeway. What are your thoughts on this? Okay, check this out. A new report by Compass indicates home prices are still pretty high, even though inventory has reportedly hit its lowest level in decades. The report shows the median price for a home in San Mateo County is now, get this, close to $2 million, which is the highest across the entire Bay Area, by the way. We're looking at around $1.93 million on the peninsula. In San Francisco, the median price for homes is up at about $1.63 million. Local real estate agents explain it's due to a market slowdown. Interest rates are a little bit higher. That's causing a lot of sellers to not list their home for sale because 85% of sellers, as we know, are also buyers and they don't want to trade their 2.5% rate for a 7.5% interest rate. It's fully understandable. It's also caused some buyers to lose affordability or buying power. The agent says some good tips for those looking to buy or sell right now are to make sure your realtor has experience in your area and also to ask about their most recent transactions. Well, major congrats are in order for Stanford's baseball team. The Cardinals just beat the Texas Longhorns on Monday and are advancing to their third straight College World Series. Yeah, this will make it their 19th overall appearance. They've won the title twice back in 1987 and 1988. Stanford is set to play top-seeded Wake Forest this Saturday. Best of luck to them. All right, everyone, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching.